what you mean die? Like how? Like uh, this guy that was on the app and they, the girl reported him and he went to her house and you can look it up. Um, and she she died, her husband died, and then he killed himself. And they met on Clubhouse, like for real. Like if you go to Say Cheese on Clubhouse uh, on Twitter, um, there was a, a link. Now, while intoxicated, and he was in a studio with over 50 niggas in it, and it doesn't matter whether she got naked for him on a FaceTime, if she did not tell you to screen record her, you shouldn't have read screen record her and dropped her. She sent their emails to club. Yo, sir, earlier. Yo, this is um Tasha K, right? I don't know who the hell Tasha K is, but I got wind of her doing some motherfucking lawsuit between Cardi, Cardi B and her. I think Cardi B won that shit and Tasha K had to pay her back some millions or something. You get what I'm saying? But I'm thinking she a motherfucking, um, some type of journalist or influence, like social media influence or something because I goes and check the content out. Man, she give, she, um, I ain't gonna say Wendy Williams, but she be motherfucking um, in people's um, personal life business as far as, like, why this person divorced, got divorced, like, what type of issues they going with, like, alimony and prenups and, like, little shit in people's marriages and shit like that, right? Y'all should go check her channel out and shit, but I don't know if anything is, like, factual with her or fabrications or whatever, but she been catching flat, man, since that Cardi B shit. You get what I'm saying? So... Whatever her and WAC 100 got going on, I don't know. This shit has been on social media for the past few weeks and shit now. So, y'all know WAC 100 supposed to be doing some type of business with R. Kelly while R. Kelly in federal prison and shit. So, Tasha K is the type that be, um, she'll go interview motherfuckers that the victims of a crime that you had supposed to have committed some, some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So... That's who I look at this Tasha K girl ass, well, female ass. So y'all listen. House and everything, and they did nothing to whack 100, but they will get anybody else that he says up out of there. And this is her talking about whack 100. You get what I'm saying? So this whole thing is going to be about her talking about whack 100 and so forth. Understanding that shit, like how grown, like if you keep doing shit like that, eventually people are gonna look at you and be like, "Yo, I don't want no business with you. I don't want no parts with you, motherfucker." You be screen recording motherfucking conversations and shit. You be motherfucking videotaping phone calls and shit like that to have as proof later on down the line if you gotta get busted for something like. Hey, here's the audio, here's footage of him, he's capping, he's lying. <laughs> so everything right, up. okay. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about that. If he wanted to come see me, he could have came upstairs and said hi. So, um, <clears throat> I guess what I would need, because, you know, it's one thing to have an allegation. But it's another thing to have, like, actual receipts and women that are willing to come forward to state on record that this has happened. If that can I have happen... Uh, I have all the videos. 
Just like that R. Kelly shit. Now that was that, like if y'all go around and believe in some shit like females joining together now and um going against a dude like, hey, such and such did such and such to me. That shit don't work to me nowadays. You get what I'm saying? Because we see now you can goddamn coerce somebody into a store like, yo, we're gonna pay you this amount, man. You and several other individuals are going to tell this story this certain way, fabricate it, to bring this motherfucker down. That's how I look at it. So when when a person be like, yo, we got um, we got a list of people that want to come forward and speak on this certain individual, they already know like, yo, it's fabrications involved. Not all the time necessarily, but yo, you don't take shit like, you just don't take shit nowadays because... What is the arterial motive for that shit? Okay, if that can happen, if you can give me the women with the videos. And I have the women too. And the police stuff, stuff, like stuff, stuff like that, I'll look into what y'all have and then I'll let y'all know, you know, you know, what I'll decide to do as far as, you know, moving forward with whatever plan I need. You know, I don't, you know, this is not, like, I don't, I don't know the guy. You know, I, I don't, I, I think for, you know, for me, but for him, I don't think he knows, like, me, and this is not for me to, like, brag or anything, like, I don't, I don't do that, I don't play those games, I'm not, like, a gangster, I don't pretend to be hard, you know, that's just not my lane, like, <clears throat> or anything like that, I don't do beefs for clout, I don't, I don't play those games, Okay, like, you, too, you know, he came at me, you know, really, I don't know, kind of, kind of sideways and I didn't respond and then um you know people were sending me videos and stuff and so I'm like you know anybody that comes at me with the R. Kelly stuff I do the same thing I did it with Corey Holcomb I mean there's a lot of people that because he's been doing his rounds like R. Kelly and stuff you know they kind of treated you know whack the same way or whatever but like you know when I hit his, his girlfriend you know, I was actually talking to his girlfriend, and she was saying, like, you know, he was embarrassed over, I guess, the video. I guess maybe it didn't get that kind of publicity, I guess, before, you know. I guess maybe this story has been out for a while, and it just didn't have the type of publicity that I gave it. Yo, so, this is Club, this shit on Clubhouse, or whatever the case may be, Tasha K. Y'all just type in WAC 100 and Tasha K if y'all want to know more and shit like that. But if y'all know who Tasha K is, then now her and WAC 100 is like going at it. Now, actually, I told y'all I never believe in decoys and smoking mirrors. And this shit right here can be honestly something that's going on and shit. But putting those two together, you will never know what's, um, what's clout. You get what I'm saying? What's clickbait. You don't know, okay... Just make it look like we're going to war. Just, you know, keep shit going, buzzing for us. Some people don't be having enough time and energy to entertain shit like that. Then you got some people that do so. That's Tasha K, man, and she's speaking on WAC 100. Y'all want to know more about this shit? Just type in Tasha K and WAC 100, and y'all get the whole scoop of what the fuck going on. But I got wind of Tasha K doing some type of lawsuit with her and Cardi B. I think Cardi B sued her for defamation or some little shit like that. You get what I'm saying? And Cardi B won, so Tasha K had to pay her millions of shit, which I ain't hear she paid her, but you get what I'm saying? So that's Tasha K, man, going at WAC 100 and shit. So y'all check her um, stuff out because she, uh, she pretty much exposes people. You get what I'm saying? So you go on her platform and shit, you'll see like that girl... Um, I forgot her name, but she got, she she just know everything seemed like, like she reach out to the right people and shit like that and get details and shit on people and shit, yo, but it's her early, man.